What's going on YouTube? Gios right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install the iOS 18 public beta, which is different from the developer beta. And I'm going to tell you why. So the iOS 18 preview is available. There are two versions, the developer beta and the public beta. So here's how to install the public beta on your device. If you want to experience the new features introduced in iOS 18, and boy, are there many features to experience. Connected to the computer right now, I have in here an iOS 17 device. Here in software update, you have the update, the normal update for iOS 17.6.1 in this case, or it might say that you're running the latest version of iOS 17. Now to get the beta updates, you just go in here at the top and you have a couple of options, iOS 17 public beta, developer beta, and then of course you have iOS 18 public beta and developer beta. So as simple as that. However, in order to get that menu, you need to be registered in the Apple developer program, which for betas is now free. You can get them completely for free, but you still need to register. So how do you do that? Well, at first you need to have an Apple ID connected on your device. So as you can see here on settings at the top, I do have my account. George Johnson. So you need to have one of those connected in there as well. Then you need to go ahead here in the App Store and install an application called Apple Developer. This doesn't require any computer or anything. You don't need to sign in on a Mac. You just install Apple Developer and open it and you will connect with your Apple ID, the same Apple ID that you have on the device. So it takes a while to open up in here, but you can tap the account button in there, tap sign in and select your Apple ID in there. After you do that, you will very likely be prompted to agree with the terms and conditions, which I already have in the past. And once you do, you should see something like this. You are connected into the account. That's all you need to do. Now, once you are in the developer program, you can just go ahead, close the settings application. Very important. Make sure the settings app in here is closed so that it refreshes. Then go here to general software update. And now you should have besides automatic updates, beta updates. So you go in here and you select the iOS 18 public beta. Now, what's the difference between iOS 18 public beta and developer beta? Well, the public beta is more stable than the developer beta. The developer beta usually contains newest features. You have access to the latest and greatest features, but some of them might not be tested very well. Some of them might be very laggy, very buggy, and only intended to run on a device that is used for development purposes. If you want to use it on, for example, your main device, you just want to be a beta tester, but you don't want to mess with software crashes and random things not working properly and so on, you're looking for the public beta, which is a refined version of the developer beta. So at this point, you just press update now and that's it. You're going to get update requested in here and it will start downloading the beta right away. You can see here it started downloading. So that's basically it. That's how you install the iOS 18 public beta. And I definitely, definitely advise you to go ahead and get the public beta instead of the developer beta. If you are a casual user who just wants to try out the new iOS. Thank you for watching. I am GS now. Till the next time. Peace out.